the Toyota Sienna minivan camper conversion that I'm taking you on a tour of today has got to be one of the most unique and extraordinary van conversions I've ever seen. From the bed to the under bed storage units and even the cabinets and shower in the back of the van, all of them are made out of cardboard for under $25. Come on, I'm gonna introduce you to the brilliant engineer who built this. Well, hello, hello, Pascal. Here we meet up again. <laughs> uh, so tell me, I don't even know what to say. When we met last time, you told me you were thinking about building a van out of cardboard, a van conversion. And so did you do it? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> and well, you know what? I just want to get to it and look and see everything is in here. You've got a cardboard bed, cabinets. But before we do that, why don't you tell us what kind of cardboard did you use? So I mean, here at my office, we have a, a warehouse where they just throw out random cardboard from boxes of stuff that comes with equipment and things like that. So, so you basically, so basically, your materials for your build were free. Yes, yes, it's for all free. <laughs> <laughs> so a, not just a cardboard build, but a free cardboard yes. van conversion. Yes, yes, free. <laughs> and now on your channel, Tiny Campers, I watched and you showed how you kind of reinforce the corners and stuff. Yes, yes. All right, so you're gonna put a link under the first comment on this video on my channel so people can go over to Tiny Campers and see exactly how you did it. Yes. Okay, yes. great. So listen up, folks. You can go over to Tiny Campers and you can see step by step how Pascal made this bed right here. And he's going to tell us, but you can go over and see it firsthand, how he also made this cabinet. And the countertop is cardboard too? Yes, it's all cardboard. And even this, oh my goodness. So you know what? Before we get started, I think people, they say the proof is in the pudding. Can you go lie down on that bed so people can see that it'll really support your weight? How much do you weigh? Uh, I weigh 170. Okay. And this could w handle a lot more. You you could climb on it with me too if you want. Uh, no, I don't want to take a chance in breaking your bed. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> it, it won't break. Okay, it, it won't okay. Break. So, you know, you can see that there's no flex at all. So now, the bed is all cardboard or did you use any other materials? Uh, I did use uh, some paint mixing sticks so I, I wanted something free that I could get at the Home Depot and uh, I used that to help reinforce the boxes underneath and the boxes double as storage. I mean they're basically storage drawers. If you go to my channel you can see more details of how I did it. Okay. So okay. some have paint sticks and there's there's some boxes with, with no paint sticks. So I just put a few items, but basically these are boxes that I got at my work uh -huh. and I was opportunistic. I just saw some boxes that were the same shape and I mm -hmm. said, hey, those are going to be a good base. Now so, you just, I see, it looks like you just folded down the corners to make these stronger. Yes. So I, this one is folded down the corners okay. and this one has half a paint stick right here. Okay. Half a paint stick right here, you know, just cut in half. And there's another one right here. So basically the support places are the corners and that's where you reinforced it. Yes. Well, this, this one I did on the sides. Okay. Uh, this, this box, I just had the paint sticks here on the corners, on the okay. four corners. Okay. So I did it three different ways just to, for people to see different ways to do things. Now this one is fully cardboard. There's no paint sticks at all. And I just use, you know, these cardboard corners that okay. I also got at work and they were So scrapped. these are corners, so like that come on furniture, the edges of furniture and stuff. Yes, yes, oh just packaging. Gosh. So this one is 100% cardboard. So you can do it like this. So I just wanted to show that there are different ways you can do the exact same thing. And yes, it's gonna be very strong when you reinforce the corners. And now, if you got all the boxes together, then it's super strong. Now look, let's look here. Now I'm looking at now the base of your bed, which is cardboard. Yes. Now that is shiny. So yes. why is that shiny? So this is epoxy. I did do an epoxy coating on this. Okay. Um, it's it's kind of optional. You can do it, and it'll make it significantly stronger. You don't okay. have to. And how much was the epoxy? Yeah, you know, the bottle that I bought was maybe twenty dollars. Oh my goodness. Okay. And there's still half a bottle left. 
So you epoxied this, and then you, I see you have the corners taped together over here. Yeah, so here, okay. here's just packaging tape and glue coming around. And again, uh, I saw some boxes that were uh, at work, and uh, they had this, it was a lid. So I just said, hey, I, I could use the lid to those boxes to, to make my frame around my bed. Okay. And again, this is just, you know, more cardboard underneath, too. So basically, you've got a free bed frame. Yes, I did get a free bed frame. Now, you happen to have an air, uh, what do you call it, a pad? Yeah, this is like an exercise uh, pad. Okay, so you can just use whatever you have at home or if you have a sleeping bag, whatever. Yeah. But so you have a free bed. Yes. And then let's look over here. Now, the cabinet. How did you make the cabinet? If you come around, I'll show it to you. Okay. It's the base of my cabinet. I started off with just the battery. This lithium ion battery, uh -huh. lithium ion phosphate battery, and these do not need to be vented because they are lithium ion phosphate. Okay. But I took the box that it came with and I basically used this as my foundation okay. and I built up around it. You can see I built this wall. Let around. me get in and look at the wall for everyone. So you use the box that your battery came in and then this, is this the same box or is this a different box? Now this is, the white stuff is a different box. See, this, this brown part is the battery box itself. And I see you didn't even need to epoxy that. No, no. Now this is, what is this? That's the white that's on there. It's just uh, semi-gloss paint. So that makes it not completely waterproof, but it can get a splash on it and not be ruined. Correct, correct. So it's kind of water resistant. You know, if you spill something on it, you wipe it up, you're going to be okay. Now, what about the counter? What did you make the counter so, with? So the counter uh, is cardboard. If you look here, you could see the three layers of cardboard that I have. And I just, um, you know, did the corrugations at, at different uh, angles so oh, that okay. some goes this way and, and the other goes this way for, for so good that, reinforcement. So, that, so you had them going in different directions? Yes. So oh, that makes wow. it stronger. It takes an engineer to think of that, that kind of thing. But, but Globies, you can benefit. He figures it out and then you can copy it. Yeah. All right. So And, and this is actually just um, wallpaper that you buy on Amazon. Oh, it, the top. Yes. Okay. So this is waterproof wallpaper and it's yeah, for your bathroom. So it's waterproof also. Okay. So I put it on the top to make it prettier because cardboard's kind of ugly, right? And then you paint it over it. No, this is not painted. It's, oh, this isn't painted. No, this this top is just the, oh, the looks, wallpaper itself. That looks really nice. Yeah, so it makes the top look a lot prettier. Uh, and, you know, this is, it was $5 for a roll, and I still got a lot of that roll left. So I'm adding this up, and it sounds like, now, of course, everyone doesn't have to have a microwave or the sprayer that you had yeah. back there in the sink stuff. You can just um, yeah. use a bucket, you know, for, you know, for washing up yes. and a gallon of water. And you have flooring, but the flooring was already here. Yes. But you don't have to have that kind of flooring. No, you no. can just, you know. That's. It's just from my previous build that the flooring's even there. It's certainly not a, necessary at all. So if you want to get started with cardboard. So we were adding it up, and you and I together figured it was less than twenty five dollars. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you know, just some glue sticks, epoxy, and. And the wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just a little strip of wallpaper. Yeah, that's not even all of it. All right, well, we've seen the back side of the cabinet. Yes. And now let's look at the front side. We know the top is a wallpaper, waterproof wallpaper, yes. and you painted this. So how did you reinforce these sides again? So these sides are just, these corners are reinforced with, again with cardboard corners that I got from furniture packaging. Uh, it, it's nothing special. For you, free? Yes, for free, of course. <laughs> of course. I don't have to buy I'm going to call Pascal the free guy. <laughs> <laughs> so here, remember, that's, that's the battery, and that's very strong and very stable. The microwave sits on top of the battery, which is very strong and stable, and then I have the microwave um, helping this side of the support. Now, it, if you didn't have the microwave, would that still be secure and yes, strong? Yes, I, I think it will be. Uh, if I didn't have the microwave here, I would actually put up another wall with a corner. Because okay. the corners are stronger than a straight wall, right? Right. Just a corner. So I would put another corner right here if that's what I wanted to do. So you have things that you're naturally using like your battery and your microwave for support but for people 
who don't have a battery, don't have a microwave, you know, can't afford to have those things, just get the free corners and support it with that. And about what things would you say without the microwave and battery supporting it with just the corners, what do you think you could safely put on top of that counter? Uh, Weight wise. Uh, me? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I could still climb on top of it. So clearly then a coffee pot, a butane stove, those things could be easily, that could easily handle that. Yes, yes. So if you look at this part right here, this area is only held up with four corners. Corner here, corner here, and, and this support right there. And you know, I'm going to sit here and I'm not really going to hesitate because I know it, it is strong enough. All right, so so it's a strong cabinet. You you can put things on there and cook and use it as a ch as a kitchen cabinet. Yes, yes. I mean, do, keep in mind it, it is cardboard, so you want to be careful cooking. You don't want it to get <laughs> you don't want to catch it on fire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All yes. right, but now over here, speaking of cabinets and things, you have the cabinet above that everyone loved on your other build. Yes, and this you re you duplicated it actually but using cardboard. Correct. So I basically kept the exact same design. I even took out the previous one and I, I, I cut my cardboard pieces according to the shape of the old one. Uh, but you know, this door, for instance, it's, it's just all cardboard. I just cut out this section and I used the cardboard. So as, now how did you, how do you make the cardboard bend to open? Oh, you, you just, it'll just bend. You just crease it. Okay. Well, well, yeah, I, I put a, a, a metal sh piece and then I bent it to, okay. So it's a straight line. So that made a crease there. Yeah. I mean, if you just try to do it by hand, it's not going to be it's a straight crease. It's going to be all crease. messed up. Now, so I, I see it's shiny. So what is that shiny stuff on there? Uh, so this is just packaging tape. So it's part of the experiments that I was doing. And I, for, for water resistance, I, I just use regular packaging tape, you know, so that's why it's shiny. And yes, you know, you could get Get it wet and wipe it off and you're going to be fine. The ugly white stuff is when I tried to paint it and paint, I learned, <laughs> does not stick to packaging tape very well. Okay. So don't do that. If but you want to paint, keep it on bare wood. All right. Or bare I mean, bare, bare cardboard. cardboard. So let me ask you this. You tried, being an engineer, you tried several different things using sticks to reinforce, using epoxy, using the packaging tape. What do you think provided the most support and what after trying all these different things for, as you say, proof of concept, mm -hmm. which thing do you like best and which things do you think will help support something, cardboard in particular? I mean, I think the best support will be wood sticks. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was trying really hard to pay next to nothing for, for these things. So I, I used the, the paint mixing sticks that I got at Home Depot. But really, you, you could buy a $2 piece of stick at Home Depot and you put the stick right here. Mm -hmm. And then you build the cardboard around it, and it's going to be very, very strong. Wow! And if it's going to be a vertical support, you got four legs, you know, maybe six legs. So it's kind of like the concept of synergy. Two things by themselves may not be, but when you combine them together, it doubles the strength. For sure. Any okay. one of these boxes underneath, it's not very strong. It's like laying on a bed of needles. Okay. Right, that could hold you, and you won't be punctured because there's hundreds of needles supporting you. So these, you know, five boxes and each each uh, edge helping each other. So it, each box helps support the box next to of it, course, which yes. then cumulatively yes. adds to the strength of the whole unit. Yes, and and, and that's that's actually why I did the um, the epoxy on the bottom end because I wanted the weight to be evenly distributed. I wanted something more rigid. You could have done all cardboard, but you know, the more rigid it is, the better the weight distribution underneath. So, because as you're lying there, part of your body is heavier than another part. So if you make it more rigid is what I'm hearing you say. Well, that the, the, bottom. It will, yes, the bottom. Yes, it'll push all the boards at the same time. That's okay. the idea. All right. Again, this takes an engineer to come up with this <laughs> kind of stuff, but I'm glad you did it. So now people who are concerned and don't have the money to do a build out can do can do one in cardboard. Yes, they can. Oh my gosh. And, and they can make it look good too. If you put more effort into it, I, I didn't put a lot of effort into mm -hmm. making it look pretty. I did do some effort, but you can see with, with some effort, you could actually make it pretty too. So you weren't about decorating. You were just about finding <laughs> out what works and what doesn't work. Yes, actually that, that is true. So, you know, the, the paint works great on bare cardboard and it makes it pretty. 
could be prettier. You know, the, the cardboard, you can make a hinge out of it. And you have a shelf. And you so got, now, oh, your shelves are cardboard too? Yes, everything's cardboard. Oh my gosh. So your shelves inside there are corrugated cardboard yes. just stacked on top of each yes, other. Yes, there's two pieces that I okay. this I just taped together. Okay. Glued and tape. Holy moly. So you had a shower on your last build. You have a shower on this build, yes. but it's built out of cardboard. Yes, yes. Oh, could you mind showing us? Sure. So basically the basin, I wanted to make the same shape and size as my previous build and just kind of do it out of cardboard. Okay. And so this is kind of just storage area when it's not in shower mode. But you could see what I did was I just took a, a lid, a cardboard lid, and I cut it down and I built up a wall around it. And this is, has, has not, no glue or anything, just packaging tape. So uh, this one I wanted to do with just packaging tape because I wanted to try different things. So could a person actually put, what is that red stuff they put to re make water sh showers waterproof or could they even epoxy this if they wanted it? They could epoxy it. Um, I, I don't know how well that'll work because uh, uh, right. I don't have any data for that. But they can, they could reinforce it. But in this scenario, it's just really not necessary the way I have it. Because I have this this plastic sheeting. Do you know how many mils thick that sheeting is about? I think it's 35. 35 mils? Or maybe 25, All something right. like that. So and where did you where did you get this sheeting from? This is just Home Depot. And, and it's, it's actually just scraps that I had laying around the house. I didn't even go out and buy it. So I don't know exactly what it is. All right. I, I just uh, used what I had. And I think that's the main thing that we're emphasizing here, that you can do a build on the cheap with hardly any cost using materials that are scrap materials and materials that you have. Yes. So really, you could use a trash bag, a heavy-duty trash bag for, for or this Or a compactor. Liner. You know, a compactor bag because they're built to They're They're really strong, but they're just not big enough. Right, right. Okay. So you probably a, a large, you know, trash bag. All right. You know, I got my, my old drain hose and it just drains down. And and really this is going to be waterproof. You know, you, you're not things aren't going to get wet. Now how do you dry this out so it doesn't get the cardboard wet and um, when you're through Okay, so when when you're through with this, you kinda just kinda put all the water down, let it drip down, but when you fold it up you just fold it up in this manner okay. and, and that way, you know, if there's any moisture still, it's still in the bag. It's, it's not going to go into the cardboard and if anything drips, it'll drip down the drain now. And then you could actually, you could actually take that out and lay it out in the sun and it would dry. For sure. That's the best thing to do. And it would dry very quickly. Yes. You take it out, shake it a few times. You know, this, this is removable and it's disposable. You know, if, if you don't feel like cleaning it. Just throw it away and do a new one. Wow. So I'm going to ask you this. Last time I asked, what are you going to do next? And you said, I think I'll do a cardboard camper. So, of course, I have to ask you now, what are you going to do next? How can you possibly top this? Well, next, I, I have in my mind a design for a full-time camper build. And it's going to be a home on wheels. So it's not going to be cardboard. It's going to be really durable. Right. And it's going to be more luxurious. So uh, this is really really cheap but i got some more expensive things in mind for the next build because uh, my concept is that you know somebody who wants to live in this full time you know you want to invest maybe let, let me let me get this wait a minute free pascal is going to do a luxurious build <laughs> it'll be more luxurious it won't be it won't be expensive okay i, I, I just can't bring myself so to you're going to do a build that's going to be luxury on the cheap that's what i'm going to yes, call it that, that sounds luxury about right. on the cheap okay well and how long is this going to take because you know everyone's going to be dying to see it uh, it's it's going to take a couple months uh, all right and, and i am going to scavenge uh th things again again i already scavenged a bed so it's going to be luxury bed, but I didn't pay anything for it. So still on the cheap. And I, I think you, you had a good phrase for that. You're probably going to take longer to scavenge the items than you're going to take to build it, I bet. So, sometimes, yes. So I, I've been trying to scavenge a, a counter that I could start as my base and then build around it. All but right. th that's a little hard. So I, I may have to start from scratch. But Well, you know what? Go over and if you want to see his brilliant ideas, 
go over and check out Tiny Campers. And he has step by step on how he built the bed out. And it's really, it's really an instructional video. I watched it. And someone could go along as you go and do it. And then you did it on the cabinet also. And so Tiny Campers, and you're going to put a link on the first comment on this video when I air it so people can, since I don't know how to do links, so they can go onto your comment and hit your link and it'll take you them over to your videos. Yes. All right. Well, Pascal, thank you so much. And we will see you down the tiny camper cheap road. Yeah. <laughs>